yo what is going on everyone it is trying here and i'm trying to keep this intro short so just be sure you drop a like if you enjoyed that montage subscribe if you're new we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and let's get right into the top 10 list Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the FR-556. This gun was introduced to the Battle Pass this season and is arguably the most accurate 4-shot AR on this list. That being said, it is a 4-shot kill, so you won't be getting 3-shot kills that you'll see with some other assault rifles on this list. Um, and also the iron set is not that good, but the main takeaways here is the FR-556 has really good bullet spread accuracy and very little recoil at range, which is really important. Now here is the loadout for the FR-556 from an overview. I'm gonna keep this very short, so just pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number nine. Coming in at the number nine spot, we have the HVK-30. The HVK-30 used to be the best gun back in season 12, but after the damage and ammunition nerfs it received in season 13, it no longer holds that spot. I do want to say the HVK-30 is pretty, still pretty dominant um, because it is a four shot AR with a very fast fire rate and with the large caliber attachment that means you will have uh, a better time to kill but it no longer holds this spot in this three shot AR meta that we live in so it is no longer the most powerful and versatile assault rifle in the game right now. Just like last time here is the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the HVK-30. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's hop into number eight. The number eight spot on this list goes to the chopper. What makes the chopper so good is the heavy handle attachment, which basically you, you're able to shoot without having to fully ADS, which means you're gonna be able to see more of your screen, so more visibility. Also, the chopper has a really, really fast fire rate, which is amazing for getting kills both close range and long range if you can control some of that recoil. Um, but the downside to the chopper is the mobility, which doesn't really fit into the current meta. So that's why it's not higher on this list. Again, here is the loadout for the chopper and the gunsmith attachments. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number seven. The number seven spot on this list goes to the Arctic 50. The Arctic 50 with stopping power is able to get you a one shot kill no matter where you land your shot on the body. Now, this could be considered really OP, but I think a lot of people overlook that the Arc 50 has really slow mobility, so your ADS speed, even with all the attachments for ADS, ADS speed, and just movement speed in general, is not going to be as good as other snipers on this list. But anyways, the one-shot capabilities, you can't overlook that as well. That is really OP, but you only get 5 bullets per clip, and that's why I didn't rank it higher on this list. Again, here is the loadout for the Arctic 50 and the gunsmith attachments. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now, let's move on to number 6. The number 6 spot on this list goes to the QQ9. With the Fennec being nerfed in Season 13 and the QXR being introduced in Season 13, there was a little bit of competition there, but I feel like the QQ9 is better overall in terms of versatility. It has um, more range than the Q QXR, and it has less recoil than the QXR, and I feel like it's the best close-range SMG in the game right now. And I feel like with this close-range SMG, you need a lot of ammunition. That way, you can potentially compete against those three-shot ARs that are in the meta right now. So that's what I did in the build, and I hope you enjoy it. As always, here's the loadout for the QQ9 and the gunsmith attachments with that 45 round extended mag as promised, but now let's move on to the one and only honorable mention. The honorable mention goes to the .50 GS. I know it is a secondary weapon, so I'm sorry, but it is so OP. It's definitely the best uh, secondary weapon in the game right now. With a Kimbo, you just pull it out and just spray and pray. And with the single .50 GS, you can get so much range on it. It's actually insane how much range you can get on it. I personally prefer the .50 GS single just because you have more accuracy, but um, if you're not running a rocket launcher, definitely use one of these classes. So here is the gunsmith build for the Kimbo .50 GS. As always, pause the video, take your screenshots. And here's the build for the single .50 GS. Now let's move on to number five. The number five spot on this list goes to the RUS 79U. This gun is by far the most versatile and therefore the best SMG in the game right now overall. 
Compared to the QQ9, the RUS has slower time to kill at close range. However, the RUS has it's more versatile, it has more range, and it has a, a higher ammo capacity than the QQ9, which makes it so high on this list. That, that means you can take multiple, multiple gunfights at range, at close range, at range, and you won't have to run out of ammo, you won't have to reload, and that's why it makes its spot at number five. As always, here is the loadout for the RUS 79U and the gunsmith attachments. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number four. The number four spot on this list is a tie between the Locust and the DLQ. Now, I usually include these in the honorable mention section of the video. However, there is a reason why at least one person in a rank match lobby uses the Locust. It's because the Locust is smooth. It's smooth to use. Why is it that? Because the Locust has the highest mobility out of any of these snipers on this list. And with the stopping power uh, attachment, it has really good damage. And while it may not have the best ADS speed, it is amazing in mobility. And that's what makes it so good for spawn trapping, just turning around sliding. It's so good. The mobility makes it so good for spawn trapping and the damage with it is really good as well. Now, similarly, we have the DLQ, which has higher damage and higher ADS time than the Locust. While it has less mobility, it still dominates at long range, and that's why I would say the DLQ is better at long range than the Locust. Um, so yeah, two very solid snipers. As promised, here is the loadout and the gunsmith build for the Locust. Pause the video, take your screenshots. And here is the loadout and the build for the DLQ. Pause the video, take your screenshots again. And now let's move on to number three. The number three spot on this list goes to the ASM-10. The ASM-10 used to be the best three-shot AR in the game, but this season it received a nerf for overall range, um, which was very detrimental to the ASM-10 because that really gave it a defining factor compared to the DRH, spoiler alert. Um, but now since it doesn't have that range, it's no longer um, that good, but it still is very dominant. It's a three shot AR. Um, it has a lot of ammunition and you can really spray up and just go to town with this. Uh, still, it doesn't matter, um, but just it's not as good as it used to be. And that's why it's at number three, but still definitely try this build out because you can shred with it. Again, here's the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the ASM-10. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number two. The number two spot on this list goes to the one and only DRH. Although it received a minor nerf for reload speed this season, and even though it does have pretty bad bullet spread accuracy at range, at long ranges, this there's a reason why this has been one of the most widely used ARs in the game consistently since it came out. It's because with the OTM attachment, you can get a solid three shot kill and it's really, really dominant those short to mid ranges where you're gonna be taking most of your gunfights anyways. And lastly, it's mobility. It's mobility is so good, I would say it's the easiest AR to drop shot with. Again, here is the loadout and the gunsmith attachments for the DRH. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's finally move on to number one. The best gun in season one of Call of Duty Mobile is the Man of War. This is because the Man of War received two buffs that it really needed this season to make it the best gun. The first one for ADS speed, you're gonna have faster ADS speed, which is something the Man of War lacked in past seasons. The second one is for ammunition, it has five more rounds in its base mag, which makes it way easier to use. Now, the Man of War is, reminds me of the old ASM-10. It's really good at both close range, the hipfire bullet spread accuracy is good, and long range. It's known to have good long range, so having that ADS speed really makes it much better at close range, which is something it really needed. So if you have not used this class, definitely go ahead and try it out, because it really dominates. Now, I made two builds for the Man of War. The first one with very high movement speed, so pause the video, take your screenshots. And the second one with higher ADS speed and lower movement speed. So pause the video, take your screenshots again. All right, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you made it this far, be sure to comment Toilet Squad in the comments. I just want to see who made it this far. Um, but as always, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.